Good afternoon, YouTube community. It's your boy, Lex Anderson. And there's a lot going on in America uh, right now with, you know, Hillary and Trump both running for president and all the police injustices have been going on. But there's also something else that I wanted to talk about as pertaining to white privilege. And that's the issue of flying JetBlue and the unlimited snacks that white people and Euro people, European people, excuse me, abuse on their flights. Uh, in case you can or can't tell, I was in Cancun with my girl last week. That's me, right? <laughs> there she is. And we couldn't help but noticing, coming from Cancun, Mexico, back to New York, that the flight attendants who tend to their passengers with the unlimited snacks that the white people and the European people severely abuse the unlimited the unlimited snacks privilege. So basically, we noticed that when the stewards would come by and come by with the basket of un, of snacks, that the white people would actually have the audacity to take the entire basket from the attendant and then give it back to them empty. And to me, that speaks to white privilege at its best, or in my opinion, at its worst. Because just because something's unlimited doesn't give you the right to take three bags of chocolate chip cookies, four bags of cheeses, four bags of cheeses, seven bags of, of pop popcorn chips. chips. Which were quite good, for, uh, by the way. Kettle corn, very good. I'm mad I didn't take more bags. And my girl didn't get to take more bags because the white people on our flight had probably emptied out the whole cabin of whatever chips were left. You know, and that's the thing that I want to talk about. The mentality that us as African American people, whenever there is something free or unlimited, we're usually hesitant to take or we usually just take what we need. But white people will feel the need to take as much of anything they want as possible with no consequences is it because of the white privilege I would say yes and because a lot of white people have ostentatious nasty attitude but I say that we in the african-american community need to step up you know and I, the reason why I want to tie it into the police violence thing is because we have behavioral and attitude problems that need to be adjusted where we need to take what is properly ours take what's owed to us and not be shy or step away when white people come on the scene and want to take a look in a snack basket on a return flight and empty it two and three times. There was a row of Europe European people in front of us who were literally drowning in free snacks, were they not? And yes, they were, and they actually had their own snacks, so they were eating their own chips and everything while they were eating their snacks and then collecting them and putting them in the pocket in front of them the back seat so they could I guess take free snacks home I don't know and that's the problem Orders. jet brew uh -huh. offers unlimited snacks to get you through your flight not to turn free snacks into a meal you see these people boarding with their Starbucks cup and their sandwiches that they already brought but yet you literally are filling the pouch of the seat in front of you you're literally filling that and your lap is overflowing with unlimited snacks. And if we did something like that, being people of color, they would look at us like we don't deserve it or look at us funny, like we're greedy, but yet they can do it. Whereas thus comes the white privilege that he's speaking of because we always get looked at like we don't deserve what they get, even though we're all paying the same prices and sitting on the same airplane, same flight, there's no first class, business class, it's all one class. So don't look at me funny when I get a second bag or third bag of snacks and call me greedy. And on top of that, our people also look at us funny because they have that white mentality that the white or Europeans have, some of them, I'm not you know, generalizing all whites and Europeans, keep that in mind, that we don't deserve, so they look at us funny. Our own people look at us like, dang, she greedy, or look how many bags he took. So we have that hate from the whites, and we get the black-on-black -black hate 
of jealousy and talking negative and bad about us because why? You took one bag and I took three, so I'm greedy. When it's unlimited, go for yours. Why don't you take two or three bags, people of color? Why don't we stick together instead of hating on each other, joining the negative white crew when we are just enjoying our unlimited snacks? But we're not being greedy about it. We're just taking maybe a one or two extra bags. So instead of us ridiculing each other and criticizing and rolling each other's eyes at each other and saying, oh, look at what they did. <laughs> she got five bags and he got five bags. We're, we're people of color, so let's not hate on each other and enjoy the gifts that are being given to us or the rewards as well. Why not? And with that being said, in, in order for Black Lives to Matter, we must truly unite and stomp out any form of white privilege that we see anytime, anywhere, and it starts with the free unlimited snacks on <laughs> JetBlue. <laughs> This is Lex Anderson and... This is Delona Robinson, or you could just call me Desi Robin for short. Signing off and welcome to my world.